Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. I'm Anton and today I'll be reviewing some Pro One filament by Enofil 3D. So let's get to it. Well, if you don't know Innofil, they're a company based in the Netherlands, and by the looks of the information available on their website, it is evident that they know what they're doing. They even provide a technical data sheet of each of their filaments. I've only seen that from Form Futura before. Their Pro One filament is a modified PLA, which should be stronger than ABS, have an excellent surface finish, and be able to print at very high speeds. Yet, none of my printers is meant for flash-like speed, so I'm just gonna test if it's strong and how it looks. Pro One filament comes inside this box, which is wrapped for protection against moisture. Inside, you'll find a short guide on which are the best print settings according to your needs. The spool has a small cutout to see how low on filament you are, but only one spot to hold the filament, so of course I had to drill some extra holes. The filament itself is very smooth, has a nice shine, and does not break when flexed. The diameter is also very consistent, so expect a smooth surface finish. As always, I printed a calibration cube, a Marvin, and a 3D Benchy as calibration prints. I printed this filament at 205 degrees Celsius on the Cetus 3D with no problems. Adhesion is also just as easy as normal PLA, however, this may vary for you. And this filament prints super nice. The calibration cube looked sharp as hell. The Marvin, butter smooth, plus the rafts were easy to remove. And the Benchy was simply perfect. Corners were sharp curves were smooth, and the overhangs had zero blobs. And what I think is the coolest thing about this filament is that it is so shiny, sort of like those silk filaments. Knowing that this filament looks pretty cool and should be strong, I went ahead and printed a couple of prints that I thought might be benefited by it, be it in looks or function. First, I printed this vase, which looks amazing with this filament. Light bounces off it in such a cool way. I also noticed that even single perimeter adhesion is very good. I flexed the vase and it did not snap. I loved the looks of the vase so much that I went ahead and printed another vase which also came out looking great. Then I printed some Neolithic sculptures I found in Thingiverse. These had some stringing but nothing a heat gun couldn't fix. Next I printed this dragon from the Game of Thrones series and whoa, this must be one of my favorite prints so far. The details on this model are so 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 good. I bet it took a lot of effort to make this model, so a huge shout out to Michael Perez for designing it. Oh, and it took 55 hours to print at a 0.1mm layer height on the Cetus 3D. That's an amazing, reliable printer, you should check it out. Next I wanted to print something that required the strength of this filament, so I printed this door handle, but of course I was not going to use it for that. First I played it safe and just stepped over the handle. You can see some flexing, but nothing serious. So I went ahead and tested if it could handle my weight, which it did like a boss, which actually impressed me because the area where the bolts go isn't so thick. In conclusion, this Pro One filament by Innofil is amazing. It is very shiny, it delivers a consistent color, and the surface finish is just so, so smooth. Regarding its strength, well, it held 160 pounds of meat, so I would call that a tough filament. I would use this filament for two main reasons for its look to be used in decor or other prints that would look cool with that shiny surface or for its strength for prints that simply need to be stronger overall. If you want to try a roll for yourself, I'll leave an Amazon link down in the description along with all the designs I featured in this video. Also, don't forget to tag ThinkMaking in Instagram or Twitter to get a chance to get your creations featured. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button and if you loved it, consider supporting me through Patreon or by buying a cool t-shirt like this one in my merch store. And if you don't want to miss any of my videos, don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell icon to receive notifications on new uploads. And if you're wondering what to watch next, check out these videos. Again guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.